throw that piece of stand to the table guide. Code Which enforcement. Also yeah, code enforcement, Washington County's will be taking over our code enforcement. And then the one is going to do an update on the Possum Palace doors. Okay, I checked with uh, all the ones that would work on it. And the figures, I was left $20,500. Wow. Now, uh, Fire Chief, this is a Fire Chief Sand Road. You yeah. Fire Chief? Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, he had heard what I was trying to do and he uh, gave me a call and he's going to recheck with Walter Gabbard yeah. and I think Walter at one time gave a price much, 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 much lower, around 8000 but we wanted to look at it again I guess we'll have to open it up for other people to look at it and take bids if there's anybody else to do it uh, to just from Repair the door. You know, submit a bid. So I have told Sam already to go ahead and get Walter, of course, look at it. So we have to take the bids. Uh, or I have to agree with nothing but depending on the price material, steel, you know, it's like everything else that fluctuates like gas. Uh, so that's where we're at there on that. And, uh, if I can or not, Mr. Mayor, but I'd like to just go ahead and make the motion for us to go ahead and open it up to accept this and get out and see what it's going to cost to get fixed. And if we can do it, get it fixed. You know, you can always reject me. You know, I have to take a yeah. because you advertise for them, but it's yeah. better than just getting prices and then advertising and then somebody's hand exposed. Yeah. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a set of specs that we're going to be on? I say repair the doors. Does that mean the same thing to everybody? We want we want the bid to come back. Somebody may come down and just get the bid and then they paint the door another couple of bids. Oh no, no, sir. So we need, right. we need to know we need to know what we need to know what we're bidding for. Okay. That's uh, replacing all bottom rail tracks, all rows, top and bottom. Man, I know that don't sound like a whole lot, but that is a lot. Because you're going to have to just about dis disassemble those doors to do this. Mm -hmm. I see where the money factor comes in. It's going to be two or three days probably of process because I believe Sam told me Walter said we have to take all of that out, choose not to put the metal slate in on it, re pour it, put another piece in there, and then put the angle for the tracks to sit where the rollers sit on and then replace all the rollers. Just the tracks at the top are going to be. Yes, yeah, so both tracks are going to be looked at and repaired. The tracks at the top, I don't think of that bad image from the way they're rolled up there, but we do want to have it while we got it. Uh, obviously, just having them looked at and repairs needed, so they need to consider that in their, in their proposal for being. Okay. Do you have enough right the right space on for that for advertising for what he said? Okay. All right. We have a motion that we advertise for uh, uh, repair of the uh, sliding doors to the stage area of Austin Campus or Horse Corporation Center. Is there a second to that motion? Second. We have a motion and second in discussion of the motion. Hey, Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. 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 When we can't take over our... I'll take one. Okay. You don't have an airboat to bring it to the place like that? They say we don't need one. They say they're going to do it under our code, our comprehensive plan. That's, that's what I think we should. We should do the best They do see your thank plan. You, thank you for making that happen if you're going to do I got a call on it, but yeah, I'm glad you all got it. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, the carpet will be installed prior to the September meeting. Uh, Capital City Bank Mall on splash pads closed. Uh, in the next two weeks, we'll be closing out George Rogers Park. Uh, Possum Palace uh, Park Market Trail and Design is uh, complete. Uh, and splash pads on order. And if you want to go ahead and do my J down there, we can do it. We need to advertise for being on splash pad park construction and walking trail construction 
you know, we could still use the inmate labor in there, but we need to get a price as close to what we <coughs> We can do it faster with contract labor in there, probably. Okay. Where's the wall control? It's in the snake hole, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> The small, the small. Yeah. Well, that's where you want to walk. Are you going to be able to see Sam behind the junior? You said that number two. Yeah. It's way out to the small. We got yeah. a design, a design, a design. Yeah. You want to put some plastic on the things that where you don't touch that snake? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On, on J, we we'll drop that at J on the. We'll the motion the uh, motion on the uh, special hand construction list. You said we need a motion? We need a motion to the I'll make a motion we uh, do that. Got a motion to advertise for the splash pad and the golden trail. Is there a second? Aye, uh, sir. Got a motion to second. Any discussion on the motion? Are you Mr. Carter? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. I'm sure she is. Okay. Where are you now? Budget workshop. When he, yeah. I've got all the figures in there with, with what on the insurance and all. Okay. And so we've got to also we need to set a date and time for that. Water cooler calendar. Not the 24th when it's 10 so. Okay. We have to have it before when. We we have it five of us, but we could actually. <coughs> we have we have a doctor did even after the. Yeah, we don't need to get crowds on that. We both have to go after all. So listen, we need to go after our September meeting? We can or not get a special meeting when we, uh, after the September after meeting. Okay. How long do we have to advertise? We have to advertise, yeah, we have to have 10 days for the advertising and the meeting. Okay. So we can vote today to, to advertise for the meeting. For the workshop. For the workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, and if it's a workshop, we can't take action, so it needs to be a budget meeting, probably. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, you also said first. And then, then we can set the. After the meeting, yeah. And. Crunches. You, you, but you got the number. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's any, anybody got to I just need time to advertise that workshop before, you know, we're going to have a few days to advertise that workshop. Okay. Uh, about two weeks from today or a week, a week from Monday? Or? That's the 24th, that's team four. Oh yeah, we should just have that in here. Yeah. About earlier that week? 22nd would be good. The 22nd? All right, let's not do it on Monday. Okay. Is the 22nd good for everybody? That's the ball Tuesday. That'll be a week from Tuesday. That's fine with you. Okay. Any motion okay. on that? Okay, what time? Nobody's working at 5 o'clock. We have the workshop at five. We just have to have actual period at five, right? It's five o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now this this will be a budget workshop. Hey, well, if we're going to vote that day to advertise it, we'll have to be in session. Is it a good way to be? Can we recess tonight? Or are you, what are this? Well, at some point you're going to take action. You're going to need to call a special meeting. It's probably what you're going to call. Okay, we we'll call a special meeting workshop. Okay. We'll have a special meeting, a special workshop meeting on the field at two o'clock at uh, five o'clock. Twenty second at five o'clock. Twenty second at five o'clock. We got the twos and the fives. That's <laughs> a <laughs> transpose. Okay. On the twenty second at five o'clock. Is that good? Here, okay. city hall. Here, city hall. Okay. I need a motion to that. Oh, you need a motion? I do. do I hear a motion? I'll make a motion. We have a motion. Do I hear a second? I second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on the motion? Mr. Colbert? Mr. Carter? Mr. Carter? Yes. Mr. Carter? Yes. Okay. Well, I saw Bob here fart. I've got it in my camera. It's official. Well, I saw Bob here fart for a request that was set Halloween on October the 28th, which is a Saturday night from 5 to 7 p.m. Reason that they have their fish fry at Point House and they won't have that on the weekend. Okay. They need a motion to sit there. The 28th is on what day of the week? Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Okay. Motion to sit there. The motion for a second. I'll uh, second. For a second. Any discussion on the motion? The chair goes out. And there will be first. Mr. Carter? Yes. Mr. Carter? Yes. Yes. All right. You have a letter in your package from our new judge in town. <laughs> our judge, our new judge in town. So we, 
we're going to need, after Jeff speaks, we're going to need a request for proposals. Can we, can we reject his letter and ask him to remove it from the bank? <laughs> oh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Can we reject that? That's what I'm yeah. I, uh, I, uh, 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 yeah, I called Governor Scott tonight and put him on the turn. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Um, I, I, I just want to say a few words for you about our RQs. And, um, many of you know that I serve a lot of governmental agencies, especially in this area. And I've always enjoyed working with Walsall of, uh, of all my boards. Um, you know, there, there has not been too many sticks of dynamite over the three or four years that I've worked with you, and I've appreciated that. Learned about a lot about volunteer fire departments while I've been here and, uh, and, and, and other issues. But I will say this, you guys have one of the hardest jobs because you are trying to run a municipality with very little revenue. And it takes people that are in it for the town to do things like the splash pad and rejuvenate your sports program. And I've been able to see that happen over the past three or four years. So I commend you. Uh, I'm gonna start in Bay County for the first couple of years. And after I lay low and smile and shake hands with everybody in politics, my way back up this way somehow, uh, one way or another. But I look forward to serving you in a different capacity as a judge in, in this circuit. And if you ever need me, my phone is open. And, uh, and my address and my house is open to you, and I, I, I just appreciate the opportunity to serve with you. So that being said, uh, my recommendation would be to go out for uh, proposals, and uh, I will help in any way. If any of you call me and ask about any of the proposals, I'll be glad to at least give you uh, some thoughts on that. But uh, I appreciate the time, and uh, I just have enjoyed serving with you. Thank you very much. Mr. Newman, I've served at least five city attorneys, and you have been you have been right, right at it there to talk. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is probably close to my 30th year of being in almost 26, seven years at least uh, of serving. And uh, you have certainly, you have certainly done some good job. And, and uh, we're, we're glad for you, but it's certainly, it's certainly not a good thing for us that you're going to be changing careers. So well, we appreciate your diligence and your integrity and, and what you've done for the thing. You know, it's a, uh, being a judge is an interesting concept and it's, uh, it's, it's important. So the most important thing that I could ask you to do is just pray, pray for discretion and wisdom. Um, and that, uh, and that uh, I'll have discernment over issues. You will. And so I appreciate your prayers. Your life, your life stand. Is there a set of space that it is? Yes, sir. I've got a standard RFQ that a couple of my clients already asked for. I will amend it for the town and okay. let you guys take it. There's probably six or seven tabs in it that the proposers will just kind of give you their experience, background, what they've done with respect to 119, 286, and different things are applicable to you guys. You'll get those. I would recommend that what you do is you rank based on qualifications. I think that's important. Once you get whoever you think is your, your, your most qualified candidate or the person that, or the firm that's the best fit for you, at that point sit down and negotiate something that works for you all and works for them. But I think it's a unique position. It's not like bidding on pencils or widgets. Base it on who you think is the best fit for the town of Walsall and then negotiate with them. Um, if you will call me in private, I will, I will tell you my thoughts on whoever proposes. I will tell you most of my clients are asking that, that, that whoever the proposer is has an office within 30 or 45 miles. Just the concept of it's important to be able to get here or understand the community. So I would, I would put a preference on a boundary, maybe 30 miles, you know, some proposers within 30 miles, give them a preference. I would recommend advertising for three weeks. And then, so that would put you towards the end of August. And hopefully by your September meeting, you can go ahead and bet, maybe give your top three to five candidates 10, 15 minutes each, and then go ahead and rank them that night if you'd like to do that. I'd like for us to do it within the three weeks and do it then so we can, so we can use Mr. Goodman's expertise on- Be glad to. On helping us to look at the qualifications. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Is, there, is there a motion to that then that we that we have to have through how quickly can you get it in the you can get it you can get us the uh space by the first of the week i'll have them by tomorrow i mean it's going to be mo it's i've done most of the work already for other clients so it'll be mainly cut and paste in a word document 
So we we'll right. put it in all the paper, all the, all the presses, okay? I'm going to work on Friday again. Okay. Okay. Hey, did, you, did we do a motion? You need a motion? I don't need we a motion. About to do a, uh, you need a motion. I need a motion. Okay. Do, do we have a motion we need uh, to RFQ for the current services? I'll make a motion. We have a motion to second. I'll second. Motion to second. Any discussion on the motion? Hey, Mr. Gold. Yes. Mr. Carter. Yes. Mr. Carter. Yes. Chair Lucius. Okay. Can you have a letter in your package from um, yeah, Mr. Goodwin, are there any, or if you'll be here for a few minutes, are there other things from the attorney that you need to talk to us about tonight, or maybe, I, I, if you start to leave, you need to interrupt us, just do. No, I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay to the end. Okay. Yeah, if right. y'all get past 10, I'm going to leave, but I'm going to stay to the end. Yeah. 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 I am too. Can I say one more thing, Mr. Chairman? Sure. My investiture is on uh, September 8th at 3 o'clock, that's a Friday at 3. And everybody will get an invitation, but it's going to be here at the courthouse in Washington County. I thought it was important to do it at home. And so it's going to be at the courthouse, and you guys will get invitations, but I would certainly be honored for any of you to be able to come to that. What's that date again? It's a Friday, September the 8th at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. At the courthouse here in Washington County. Yes. I'd like for all of us to go to Okay. Okay. You have in your packets a little letter that we've got from uh, DOT. Uh, on the meeting I have at DOT at Washington County. Uh, they're telling me that they're going to have a 60% plans emailed to us by next week. Uh, what they're proposing at the meeting we went to was to do away with foggy lane and because it's in the floodplain. We were out our water lines, two feet circle and tight the coral is there, which is a blessing for our town. The maintenance on that water line through there is horrendous. But that's just the break we spend on that. When we get the plants, we'll go over those. Uh, you also have a letter in your packet where uh, we got our 30 day notice on moving our utilities. And you have a copy of the response made on, on uh, the design of moving our utilities. You also have in your packet a letter that states that DOT has forgave us for that. They will do the design and specs on our water lines. And also, when it gets closer to time for construction, we'll get another letter. But we will ultimately be forgiven for any construction cost for us. It's going to be designed in with the, the plans and specs for the rest. So we're, we're doing good on them coming through town right now. That's all, it's all for information there. Okay. Any, any questions on the, uh, and then we can go to the next one, the two, the They got a tentative day of October the 19th okay. uh, for a public meeting. Okay. It's not set in stone yet, but it's tentative for a minute. Okay. Right. Whatever. Okay. You also have in your package ordinance number 17-02 which we're just introducing tonight for advertisement. It's an ordinance of the town of Wausau, Florida for repealing and replacing ordinance number 8-004 with this ordinance which shall be known as the fire department ordinance. Defining the authority of the fire department, providing for authority to establish and regulate the fire department and its volunteers and provide an effective date. We just need the motion to advertise for the first public hearing on, on this. And if we do that, what that does is allows us to take this away. And when we come back to our next meeting, uh, we come back with any changes and anything like that that we want to make. If it did cover the things we discussed in previous meetings with Mr. Goodman and the fire department when we had our meetings, if it doesn't it did cover anything that you were interested in, just make a note on it, bring it back. This is not to adopt these, it's to advertise it, to introduce it to it for, for the uh, legal purposes of that task. Okay, what's the pleasure on on advertising? We can motion to go ahead and advertise. We have a motion, is there a second? Second. Motion and second. Any discussion on the motion? Hey, Mr. Carter? Yes. Mr. Carter? Yes. Mr. Carter? Yeah. Chair Bush, yes. Okay. Madam Clerk? Yes, 
Okay. I'm going to do this a little bit differently tonight because sometimes, uh, and I've shared with Ms. Carter earlier, uh, I never I never want to give the appearance. So, sometimes the chairman just talk a lot because it's chairing me and I'm trying to direct it. And if you don't ask a question, say something, or have input, then that's probably a good way to think of this the entire board's feeling when it may be just an expression of my own. So I'm, I'm going to ask um, the clerk, if you will, in the future, put the mayor in this last and each of you will have all the usual say something because if I bring up a whole bunch of things and some of you want to say, and then that takes away from your ability to your you say something. So uh, with that said, uh, actually, I'm going to start with Ms. Carter because she's the only one that has anything <laughs> on the there, and uh, if you will. Well, as y'all know, a couple of weeks ago, at Quilty, one of our ladies fell right over there on the heart's event and broke her hip. She had to have surgery, and now she's in the nursing home for rehab. But the, I know you, the, she tripped over a flip flops when she fell, so that's not the same problem. But the problem is, is like we have to put this bed, we don't, usually we put the tables together to lay it out so we don't have to be on the floor like she was doing. And we need to two or three more tables to have enough to make it put up this big. Up high enough, we don't have to get down on the floor. Do you suggest that the put up by some tables and nobody can see them? I thought it was by some tables. I think she was just that little bit. We have to throw by the wall, whether they can stay here. So what do we use all this? No, that's, that's their nicknames. Are they the wall of my ones? Uh-huh. Yeah, they're never used. This is what you need here. Mm -hmm. Or they shine up a big dinner and you take the foot's done anyway. Right, yeah, we do that. Let's do that. We hear your request. Let's do this. Let's, y'all meet every week. Mm -hmm. um, next week, set those up and see, see if they will work. If not, bring them back to us. And, yeah, that's good. Is that a good idea? That's a good idea. Right. I do that. Okay, anything else? No, no. Okay. Uh, Mr. Corbett? Anything for us to discuss tonight? No, we discuss, but I got something I'd like to tell at the bottom. Yes, sir. Back in July, I was diagnosed with cancer. And I'm going to start team calling medication in the next three weeks. I appreciate y'all's prayers. Try to help me get through this. Because I'm not going to resign. It makes somebody happy, probably. But <laughs> I feel like making nobody happy. So I just want to let y'all know what's going on for all men and students here in the Dome Street. And I, and I believe that you have the support of the council and the community in mm -hmm. doing your prayers and best wishes. Certainly, if there's anything that any of us can do to help you during this time. I to tell the that is That's a need. Uh, that's a need. That's a need. That's a need. Yeah, we can, can, can have to take care of that. Need. You know, we'll come on Gregory's coffee. All right. Bye now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for thank you for sharing with us and and uh, we'll we'll try to keep you in our prayers. I'm sure that's good for the entire community now. Which part? Mm, nothing. Except maybe down the road if he does need any kind of help. I want to say whatever we can start thinking of so and helping out with somehow if we if it needs to a fundraiser or whatever. We can get a private fire department on that. Yeah, that would be that that region. I figured you were here. Okay. I'm going to speak these things quickly. If there's an answer you can tell me, if okay. there's something we need to do. Uh, can we get a park regression inventory? Mm -hmm. Oh, what? An inventory. For what? What have we got now? What does Sam have? Probably next to the end of September uh, meeting, and we've had her to have it done. Yeah, she's waiting at uh, her meeting. All right. We used to, we used to, every time we turn around, former, former director, need to buy basis. Need to buy something, need to buy something. 
I claim to pick up to put it up. If we buy 15, if we buy 15 bags this year, we ought to have 11 or 12 of them by the end of the year. And uh, I'd like to know what we own down there. We've got a popcorn machine and we've got some other things. And I'd like to know what they are. And then when somebody ends up buying them, we go, well, do we have accountability for what happened to the one that we got? Yeah. Uh, I appreciate it again, Morgan. I, I like it, and I don't know if anyone else does, but I like seeing the work orders in there. But but I also am beginning to see some of these been completed. A few has been completed. A few. I'd like to see where they've been signed off, that they can take on a certain date, and, and then we can take a look and see if it has been done and things like that. Uh, I'd like to also see us establish a maximum purchase. Uh, or you know, maximum purchase uh, guideline without bids. We can come in here sometimes and, and we get the car to get the horse and if our purchase policy doesn't include that, we need to do we need to, to have that. And I know that way back when Mr. Rogers was here, uh, one of our callers, we would need his amendment boards and things like that, some purchase policy things. Mm -hmm. For that point. And if we don't have, if we have something in there, uh, and, and that also kind of lets or Jimbo sometimes buy some things without having to wait for come back to us if we've got a maximum purchase of policy without having to go out for bids. And there may be some state <coughs> there. Yeah, but they're, they're, your, your, your purchasing discretion, I would imagine, is a lot higher than what you actually do here. I mean, you got to think, you're, you're under a lot of the same purchasing guidelines as the city of Orlando. So I rarely see a small municipality that push the limits of the statutory guidelines for how they do purchasing. I remember riding one from the county and we, we say we do, we do purchase this way. We do it by quote, we do it by beat, we do it by combination of these things and all that. But after a while, uh, we need to be able to, some, sometimes because we are small, we get this together, things like that, and, and in the absence of a, City manager, other than that, see what Morgan does. If, if we had that, we can. We can. Would you like to get a recommendation from him? I mean, you. I mean, you. Is that all right? We're going to ask all of about that. Yeah, I mean, you. What about the uh, man in the home? It is supposed to be out of here by next week. They picked up one available truck back here yesterday, but Mr. Nichols assures me that. The motor home will be done within the next two weeks. Okay. Hallelujah. And you addressed it. We have addressed the attorney. We've addressed the fire ordinance. Uh, what about the debris at the George Rogers Park? It's, we've got one out that can't be burned out, and it's ready for the fire department to burn. This back is supposed to take care of that. Okay. Yeah, you making some progress on this back? Hey, I'll do that. You can do anything. <laughs> it's quick thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the Grantham property. There's actually, a, there's actually a van out there. You can see the top of it. If you if you come in that hill, you can see the van. There's actually there's one out there. The property owner is out there. He's going to take action on that. You don't reckon he's out there digging something? I don't think so. He's supposed to be out there this week. No, and then we can hire him. You'll just be able to see the top of the house. You can barely see the top of the top of the van, and then you'll barely be able to see the top of the house. Mr. Gooden, uh, can we, when we readdress the ordinances on the back, can we say that if you've ever had a letter that three months from now, six months from now, we don't have to start the process over again, that once you've been notified, the next thing we start is going to be enforcement? Yeah, I, I, would, I would think about maybe putting a cap on a 12-month period or something like that, where it's not an indefinite. No. Yeah, but, okay. you, but three months is certainly within the realm of what you can do there. The city all going to have to write somebody. No, I agree. All the time you need to put in the yard or call your garbage yeah. off or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing I got is everyone familiar with the with the uh, incident with the with the dog on uh, Fourth Avenue the on August the second. I first get some pictures. Okay. Uh, this is again where we need to make sure that our employees have good instructions and that's what we're to do. We had a we had a we have uh, a residence with, with three dogs and uh, two of them apparently for the most part are kept inside or inside some of the time. One was uh, 
uh, I have to say the I've told it to a dog, a bull, a bull, a pigs. And it runs loose, never appeared to be aggressive that we know of. Uh, one, of the, one of the neighbors said, it, said that kind of might be aggressive, but it was sort of, no, it never was aggressive, but it was frightening to the, frightening to the neighbors and to children. Uh, we set some traps. Uh, or corresponded with them on several occasions as a new, as a new residents in that, in that home. Uh, they had the, uh, given the notice and given the orders about registering the dogs. Um, after, after one of the instances, she contacted me again. You all got a copy of the letter, said the next time we want to contact you, we the sheriff's department, and y'all get that letter. And, uh, and we set the traps again. If I get out of sequence, you can help me. And, uh, and we called the dog. Well, here's what happened. They came and registered the dog. We called the dog later in the day. Mm -hmm. The owner follows Jimbo. He's got him in the cage now. He follows him to his home. He said, wait, wait, I am registered. And you got the, got the registration? So Jimbo gives the dog back. Actually, he calls me. I, 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 I made the call. Yeah, 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 they called the dog. Mark said, yeah, they registered. Sure they can have the dog. This time. The, yeah, the neighbor, the neighbor's then got extremely uh, upset about it and 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 uh, and all of that. Now, uh, we called up liaison to administration. I've talked with Mark about this, and we need to make sure that, that Jimbo knows. And and I'm kind of of the opinion that uh, we need to we need to. But well, I am of the opinion that we need to support our employees, but we also need to make sure that they, that they have good instructions and good, good direction from us. Um, if I had been the employee that day, they said, here's my registration, and what was it, they can get the dog back, I'd get back. Paul Harper says, the rest of the story is this, they didn't, they didn't restrain the dog, they didn't put him back under the fence, so now even though he's registered, still that loops. We have reset the we have reset the track. Okay. The particular dog is out of town. Okay. That's dog. They the lady when she called me that when I talked to her Jimbo was uh detained we would have had the dog in and out of town here with no problems. He was detained about thirty minutes with the landowner where we had the track at. Therefore the lady seen seen the dog, seen her dog, her and her children came to Jimbo's house, you know, called me you know, we will have the dog, you know, out of town. And they have, as far as I know, the dog is going to rescue their kill. They didn't want us to take him because it's a, they had already contacted our shelter and the dog would be killed. It would be euthanized because it's untrainable, it's uncontrollable. They cried. And, uh, and she she done what she told me she would do. And her husband came in the next day also and had the dog in the truck going to rescue him. So the problem dog is out of town, but but the uh, the I won't be I won't be in the PDF, but the verbal abuse that I probably should that day. Uh, from the dog owner? Or from no, no, from the neighbors. From the neighbors. But um, when you work in the public, you're gonna get you're gonna get some verbal abuse. We're gonna get some sometime. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so, so we need to we need to if, if there's a, if there's a question on Margaret and Jimbo's part about doing the right thing, we need to make sure we we're giving them good instruction. I'm probably rambling, but I want to let know that uh, if you got called and I did not. Well, I did. I, did, I called Roger. Well, I got called from one of the names. Yeah. I didn't get called from the one that was. It's as terribly upset as the other one, but I did get one, and, and we say this is going to stop. This is going to stop. Well, what else can we do? We can't go out there and shoot the dog or the cat or whatever it needs. But we do have to. We do have to have something. We do have to, have to do something that that, uh, that enforces our order. So I'm just bringing it up so if anybody got a suggestion on how we enforce our own ordinance. One time I was in court, the judge said, we better obey the law and then we'll make it. So if we, we've got to find a way in, to enforce our own ordinance, or we need to give you the ordinance to go back like it was when we all go to the dog's money, whoever we want to. 
Did you ever say that? Yes, I said it. Yeah. And if them, if those little dogs do get out of the house and there's not a fence or not a restraint or a leash or something, then if they're picked up, it is it is my opinion that he should be instructed to take the dog off and the, not give it back. The dog owners have been told if we get any dog that it will be gone no if they have those questions or whatever. This is the second time. Huh? This is the second time. Yeah, this, well, well there's other dog there's other dogs. Okay. Yeah, there's other dogs in the I'm talking about the second time. Someone's back to one body, and there's a problem with crawling. I did call it. Yeah, I kind of think, I kind of think the, you know, the first time, the first time that might be, uh, of course, my dog, my last dog was that big, and the chance of him breaking the chain is not too good, but just suppose we got a dog that is restrained, and they do get loose, we would call off the something, they do get loose. If we get them one time, that's what the tag for that reason they register, so we know who they belong to. If we get it, if they get out one time, I'm not opposed to and, and I'm not disputing you, I'm just saying my opinion. I'm not I'm not opposed to them getting that back. But the second, third time something like that, uh, they're not they're not following the rules. The, the owner's not following the rules. We need to we need to set the trap and do something with the dog perhaps. Now, if the dog was registered, just like in this situation, Jim would have had the dog called and then the back of his truck. And then he was fixing to take him to town. And no, like 6 o'clock at night. Oh, well, so, so all the came and said, I registered. Mm -hmm. Just because it's registered, do you let him go? No. I would say it was the first time. This is the first time we've called this dog. Yep. This and nobody in this town is, has complained to two people about the dog. This situation is just a little bit different because the dog has been been running around until we have to call them. But I'm, I'm just saying, if, if you go to dog, and, and you get that, maybe it's even a house dog. When they went to go to we take a look, we should take him to the paint, so that you know and give you a chance to get him back in the house. Well, I didn't know what the rule was. I'd like to get yeah. back. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. First time, first time we say, I mean, I think we might say, okay, first time, first incident, uh, but you got to keep him learning because the next time we pick him up, you're going to take him back. Uh, I know that I have some relatives one time that we became very, very upset with everybody involved and, and, and I first had trained their dog myself. We had many times. We had done it many times. <laughs> we don't have that problem, I don't think, anymore. No, no. Uh, but, uh, we, we need to make sure, we, we don't know what our ordinance says, and for the sake of time, I, I'm, I'm through it. But, uh, Unless you'll have a motion or have a discussion, I'm, 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 I'm through. I'm starting to repeat this. Mr. Mayor, there's one thing that <coughs> did code that concerns me, and I don't know <coughs> what the legalities would be or we could do, but um, anybody's going up here any time in that office, any of the time, you're not going to have a conversation more than three minutes without a phone call or somebody coming in in order to do a job. That being said, uh, Mr. Gilbert, if you could tell us, Mr. <clears throat> I don't want to see them get verbally abused like they did. You know, that kind of aggravates me. I don't want to aggravate about much. Yeah. You know, you got somebody working hard and you got somebody out doing what they feel is right yeah. and doing what, what we have by the letter of the law. And you need to have somebody come up here that just think they got a bunch of meeting with language and stuff like that. What can be done? Well, there's so it's a public forum, but there's the, 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 that just because it's a for, public forum doesn't allow that anybody to abuse your or verbally abuse your employees. Yeah. And so if there is a harassment element to it or an over the top verbal abuse element to it, you certainly have the ability to call law enforcement and let them step in and either detox the situation. If you need to go a step further, and get uh, uh, some sort of order whereby they can't come in here for a period of time to help that detox period. Just because it's a public forum, a public facility, doesn't mean your employees are subject to harassment or over the top vulgar language. And so, uh, you know, that somebody would probably say First Amendment, but there's case law for case law that says just because it's a public forum doesn't mean you have the right to harass or bully any sort of employee that works for the public entity. It's about time to see that letter to renew uh, 
And if you know, I wouldn't that, tolerate it with my employees. I wouldn't tolerate it for yours either. If, if you so know, if it gets to someone comes in here, you would suggest possibly call me and I'll take care of it. Uh, that's what I want to work. So I want you to, if it's, I mean, I can tell you because I'm just going to make some notes. We have the same issue with the sheriff's office most of the time. I mean, I understand people come here getting upset a little bit, but when you start cussing somebody and crossing the line, time right now. But you know, it's you know, sort of custody, more than one. It's time. You know, you back to the nerves. The dog is called the first time. Somebody asked. Jimbo calls the owner. Mm -hmm. Jimbo calls the owner. Mm -hmm. the owner sold him to the dog. He was detained about 30 minutes on the property on his property. During that time, the lady came out, seen her dog, her kids, and all this, seen the dog in the trap. And Molly had was going to a kid show. All right, anything else? But well, you will be sending out notices, and everybody, if you know of, of, of a location that's got a dog, and if it is not, register, I'll let you know. Register. We need to, we need to let more know because we, we have ways to do that. Anything else? Anybody in the audience with those registers? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Good. You stay around. Is there anything you can tell us uh, no. concerning our meetings? Okay. No. No, they're we're correct. Will you have the opportunity to be with us in September when we do the board? I will not. I will not. I'll be, I will sit the first part of September, so I don't think I will make the September meetings. I think August 25th. <laughs> but we will, we will, we will post the RFQ so you at least know who's soliciting before you get together in September. Okay. And our letter gives us a date that we'll, we'll be the last. About yes, sir. Us as an attorney. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, again, thank you for your service. Thank that's, you. That's a that's a life thing, but thank you for your service. Thank you. Mr. Hagan, I have something for you, sir. Please. I have somehow become the unofficial official liaison for the Sheriff's Office in opening up substations. I'm currently proud to say that we've opened one up in Evo. We've, opened, we've currently got one that's almost 100% operational in Vernon. I've just got approval from the City Council in Kerryville to do uh, we're basically in their city hall, they're giving us one room. That, we don't need much room, we need a little area, but we can have our officers park their cars out front and have be a presence. It's not going to be manned substations, but these are areas that when our guys are in that area, they can go in that building. And if the public sees them daytime, nighttime, they're able to stop. It's a safe place for them. Um, and my goal is to open one here in Walsall, and then we're going to open up another one up in Sunny Hills. Now, bear with me, I'm doing it on a zero dollar budget. Um, and I've got Carrieville now to go ahead and process through. Walsall is my next project. So I'm going to be throwing some ideas around to you guys. And uh, with you, with your approval, I hope that we can put a little small substation here. I can't, I currently can't out over there in the parking lot myself a lot. You know, I'm about to get stretch my legs. I have to worry about somebody shooting over me. But right. we just let each council of each city know that this is our intent. We want a substation in each one of our areas. So if something does happen, that we all can come to this area. If I need to come to Walsall to put my SWAT team or to put our investigators together to be able to go and respond to something, we don't have to do it from Chicklin. And that's been a major concern of ours. And the sheriff has released me to go ahead and do that. I'm just letting you know this is something that we're working forward to. And hopefully in the next couple of months it'll be reality. That's great. And we'll help you every way we can with zero dollars. We've got, we got lots of there. <laughs> we got we're 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 work on that too. <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know that's what we're doing. You got any idea where you could? I'm still working on that. I have yeah. EOC is what kind of what they're kind of going around. I haven't talked with Director on midnights for two months, and I don't do much during the daytime but sleep and get ready for the nighttime. But I'm rotating in another week. I'm going to meet with the director of EOC, and that's why I'm hoping to do it because with this four lane coming through, anything close or we want it publicly accessed. Uh, same with most city halls, it's worked out good because Vernon City Hall, uh, Evo City Hall, and Carrier City Hall, we're, we're gaining access to those areas. We're being seen more by the public, and our guys are actually using the facilities. And when they're doing well, it, we somewhere right here. Well, I'd, I'd love it if it, if we could come up with ideas. That's what we're doing. I'm meeting with the city councils, and any ideas that you guys come up with, please throw them at me. I, you know, they just say, hey, go see if you can build these up, and without it costing us a bunch of money. And so far, we've done really good with it. But just an idea to kick around and, and any ideas, I'm, I'm open. And, I'm, and I actually perform most of the work in the substations myself. 
Just have a cop car come here and sit every once in a while. Well, I ain't lying to you. That pop off my favorite spot out here because I get to see a lot of things. <laughs> the Estrus community, praise. We appreciate you being here. Uh, nobody else have any time to consider this uh, meeting.